Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series as we continue to crack on through Alaska. We're making pretty good progress at the minute, so uh, hopefully we can have another good day of it. We are currently on the Order Master Supreme and we are looking to get some concrete slabs and cement. Uh, quite a bit of concrete slabs and cement by the looks of it. And some metal beams. So I think we can get our metal beams from here let's see if I can click on it with me mouse any better no it's a little bit annoying when you can't get it warehouse boom so no we can get our concrete slabs and our cement from here so, um, metal beams must be from the factory Okay, so, um, let's start piling this. How shall we, how shall we? I'm trying to think what I want, how I want to do it. Since the other one is over uh, by the fact we'll probably just put the metal beams on there and just leave that. So, if I go two concrete slabs and a cement pack, and then I'll have a cement loose, I think that's how we'll go. Um, but we will be good. We will uh, do our best to load it up manually. So hopefully this will be a good one today. Yesterday went pretty well. I say yesterday, you know, for you guys when they release it, they're a few days apart. But yeah, yesterday, yesterday for me went pretty well. Had a lot of uh, throat issues yesterday. I've, I've downed a whole pint of water today before recording to try and help soothe and clear my throat. We'll see if it works. Hopefully, because I want to get two recordings done today. Because I'm recording this. The day before Farm Sim 25 releases. That's how far ahead we are at the minute. So I want to have as many on the schedule as I can. Because I'll be hopefully streaming... FS in the evenings, uh, open three times a week would be nice, that would be cool. Right, so if we pack cargo. And then, this one on. I mean, this may even go on the back with the, uh, the metal beams once they come near us but we'll just stick it on here for now why is it not coming up you know I bugger a pain in my dairy ear so we'll get this. Oh, I was hoping that'd sit a bit nicer than that. Yeah, we'll get this up. Um, by the tunnel, and then we'll go and get the uh, the long horn. We'll put the little beams on it. I mean, we could even just put the metal 
of the metal beams on here, actually. I'm sure I'd be able to deliver that just fine. Save two trucks coming through, doesn't it? I just have to tidy up a little bit. Shall we try that? Shall we try... <laughs> the metal beam's on air as well. Just have to be careful when doing the uh, auto-packing again, because I'll have to take one item off. more agile. We'll just whiz around in the ink. We could find a job for the ink. Look. Just go get me some metal beams. Don't fall over this time. <laughs> Tires are absolutely useless. <laughs> what I should be doing is driving half on the snow, half on. But... Come on. I still think it'll be quicker than trying to uh, get the dairy round. If it was all this nice soft snow and mud, ANK would be great. I like the ANK. It just lacks versatility, and I just don't want to waste putting tyres on if I'm not keeping it. <laughs> it's just so it's drifting. Truck. We'll pay for that, that's fine. That is fine. It's a cool, cool little military truck as well. Well, I'd, I'd really like to work in, I'm, I'm sure I've said this already, but I'd really like to work in the um, the Ranger military trucks. I'd like to get them on my American maps for this series, but they aren't cheap. But I do like them. But the only thing is with them, I don't think any of them take a crane, so, you know, <laughs> that probably won't happen, which is a shame. But 
they are really cool trucks. So we'll see. We'll see what I can do. That's come right at all. <laughs> Grab the truck. Mr. Royal, do your best. Let's get it done. We'll skip it, we want to save time. And by the way, as well, massive thanks to everyone that is uh, sticking around, supporting the series, following along. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Especially now that I'm mixing up with a little bit more dangerous cargo now and then. What's not to enjoy? I'd wanted where I'd left my, uh, my little load star. Little. She's a monster. She's there. Just in case she was the mobile fuel trailer in Pedro for this sort of stuff. I'm not sure whether to try and do all the challenges after we've done sort of basic cargoes and in between so so then before we do login or do I do all my login and then just go around with the load star and um, do all the things. So Slave on concrete slabs. So I think we go there. Go there first. Then to the factory. Then to the warehouse. Yeah. Let me just mark that up so we'll forget. Oh. You know what I should have done? Suck a dribble of fuel in. Because we're going to need it. Deadly, deadly road signs. They will puncture a tyre at free will. Let's get him gone. Oh, you know what we need? We need ourselves a little uh, screenshot with the big load on. As 
of you guys will know that I did this before I knew that I did this in the, in the episode. <laughs> no secrets. I'm going to say it again. I am super impressed with what we've managed to do with the Royal. <laughs> I am so impressed. The fact that we've not had to bring another truck through. The White Western Star mainly. It's just, yeah. It's been great. I mean, she's now going to get stuck because I've said that, but... So far, she has been so good. It's just, you know... Case of managing her well, doing doing you know right by her with um, roots and stuff. Because she is a tippy girl. She is a bit loosey goose, and she is lacking the diff. But she's done so well for us, so well. Like I really, I really thought I was going to have to bring my White Western Star and possibly my Fleet Star through to, to do this just because I know in the past how problematic the Royal has been for me and that many times that I've done um, Alaska anyway I've played with the DLC trucks so I, I've done a lot of it with um, the Western Star Wolfpack trucks and stuff like that so Concrete slab, cement. Now we should be able to pack that all on there again. Lovely, lovely. Back ourselves up a little bit if we can. Off to the next one. See, with the uh, the Order Master Supreme, it's not necessarily that there's a lot of cargo to order or to deliver. Sorry, they're they're the larger of the cargo, so it's the the double slots and you know the four slot um, oversized cargos. I think, if I remember rightly, Cargo Apocalypse is a little bit different in that it's multiples going to multiple places. Oh, we still need to do the um, bricks in the river as well, don't we? I have to remember that when we get back. No, mm, no, 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 no. I think I'd like you to go up and over the top. You could a kind. need to check my map it is right and then just keep going <coughs> no turns out drinking a pint of water does not help This is where she's tested. Go on, gal.
Have I mentioned how impressed I am with it? <laughs> it's just getting it done. I think maybe in the past, when I first used the Royal, perhaps I was just a little bit too impatient with her. I mean, I know she's not much use in some of the other maps, because I've watched uh, my man Wessel. I haven't spoken about Wessel in a while. I watched my man Wessel trying to use the Royal in... Um, where was he? Oh, not Wisconsin. Um, oh, I can't think which one it was now. Anyway, yeah, one of the the one the, the blah, 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 blah. is it Michigan? Maybe Michigan, Wisconsin. They came out near each other, didn't they? Uh, anyway, yeah, it's the one we have to do a lot of um, hauling up and down a mountain to set up uh, factories and production stuff. And yeah, the uh, the boil really really let him down on that, so... Yeah, I know she's not good in certain areas. Under load with a steep climb. Without the diff lock, it's just, it's just you know, it's not going to work, is it? So now it's just the metal to go. Now, while I'm here, because I can get consumables from here, right? Do I need to take consumables? Although consumables I can get. Anyway, there's just long pipes. Long pipes? I don't know why I said, ooh, long pipes and concrete blocks. Um, to Mountain River, and they're coming from the other way. And it's eight bricks, four concrete slabs in White Valley to the warehouse. And that's a, that's a thing, isn't it? So no, it isn't. it's just lots going to one place. Lots going to one place. It's, it's not as spread as I thought it was. I'm sure we'll try and find a way of um, multi-stacking that on the trailer as well. I'm not sure if I can do eight lots of bricks all in one go, but I don't know, actually, we might be able to. Five and then three on the top. Could be a thing. I'll get the bricks out of the river first. Or maybe not. Perhaps I could do that first. I know there's a big chance to be um, <laughs> tipping over when I try and get the bricks out of the river because I've tipped trying to get the bricks out of the river quite a few times. I know that is a possibility. But again, I think. I might have had my royal raised at the time. And the times that I didn't roll while doing it, um, again, it was, was with the, uh, the wolf pack trucks. Because I really like the Western Stars. I know they're not the best trucks in the game, but also that's another good reason to use them, because they're not OP. There's, there's a lot of overpowered trucks, and we will be getting them <laughs> when we, as soon as we can find them, we will be getting them for this playthrough. But as a rule, I don't generally go and hunt down uh, the best trucks from within other maps to do jobs. But uh, because we're not going to be playing the maps in order, we're going to go where I want to go. I might even, you know, we'll see how the series go. I might put some polls out, see what people want to see. moving about and getting some trucks. Like I, I know that I want to go to the Don and get the Tatcher trucks before I attempt um, Cola or Amor. And it would be nice though to go to Cola and get the Ford before we do too many of the American ones because it'd be nice to have a, an, another really capable scout slash support truck. Is where that's going, isn't it? Yeah. So 
So now... Oh, did I not see the extra bits? No, I haven't. It's been so long since I did it. I didn't. So now we've got concrete back to White Valley. Um, concrete slabs, cargo container, and cargo container. So the cargo containers are coming from the uh, the port. Pretty sure of it. Can't get cargo containers from here. Yeah, so we've got to go to the port. Concrete slabs. I think get concrete slabs from the port as well. Let's just turn the engine off and have a little look, shall we? I thought that was the end of the job. I forgot that there was part three. Um. Oh no, we can get more concrete slabs from here. Because that's what we just sent pulled, isn't it? Yeah. So... So the factory wants two concrete slabs and then two cargo containers. So we can put a cargo container and a concrete slab on each one, or we should be able to pull two cargo containers. Because there are two slots on We should be able to put two cargo containers on the back of this. Yeah? Sure, that's right. Either way, we need to um, make our way to the port. Again, big loads, not lots of them, but big. Get a rock in. don't think high gear will get us there we can try. Well, it might be. We might be alright. We're not under loads, we're not under stress, are we? Let's see how she does. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot. I forgot that there was another massive set chunk of that delivery. It's been a while. It's been a while. to uh, cut in. Just cut in, cut in. Come on, get you going.
but what I'm enjoying as well about the uh, the relaxing pace of Snowrunner at the minute, not that I don't always, but I especially, is uh, because in the background, because I've not been doing the farming and I've not been doing my other trucking, I've been playing uh, some of my other games. I've been getting stuck in Baldur's Gate in the background, which is a little, obviously it's completely different. And uh, yeah, absolutely loving that, but yeah, so the, the to sort of sink back into my chair and relax with my truck again is it's just quite nice. That old familiar friend. Once I know what YouTube's doing with my channel in the new year, I might go back to a to two channels so I can have a channel for a variety of gameplay. For more of my adventures like Boulder Skate and stuff like that. Get back to work and through my back catalogue. <laughs> Replay all the games that I had on my second channel before again as well. Put that back on there because that's all been deleted. That does not exist anywhere anymore. I'll be able to do it with slightly better audio. Because <laughs> my audio is a little bit better than it was. Once we've got a year into FS25, I'll uh, no doubt be deleting a fair chunk of my FS22 content as well, just because the audio is so bad. And it's, you know, it's not like it's evergreen content anyway, it's, once 25's out there's going to be very few people going to try and find my Oop Baylor on uh, Farms in Playthrough. And as much as I love my Maypole, and Maypole really helped build my channel, the audio throughout that series is absolutely awful. God awful. Which is a shame. But hopefully, hopefully Cavalier Royal um, brings some of his maps to 25 as well, because I absolutely love them. I love the, the freedom and variety that comes with his, his maps. I don't know why I'm changing gears again. I want to save a little dribble of fuel and uh, turn your wheel off. And I think what we'll do, since we just pass them through, is we'll actually go and get the, the two slabs and or blocks or whatever it is they want concrete slabs and stick them we'll put them on here and then we'll bring them up and we'll put them onto the onto the dairy longhorn that's what we'll do so we've got an itchy eye and get that ready to go through Oh, I said it, and then I didn't go down there. Yeah, get that ready to go through into the valley as well. Because then that'll save us 300 credits. Creditos. Wild trailer on the loose again. I just really, really, really gone back to a conversation from about five minutes ago. Really, really hope that the channel gets back into the park program and I don't have to start everything again. Because I'm just, I'm just really enjoying it and I'm really liking the progress that we're making. It is slabs, isn't it? I have to check. Concrete slabs, yeah. Right.
the bait. Sometimes it's simple manoeuvres like this in the dark that can cause me to roll. Overly confident, rancing around. So we'll get the Royal up near the gas station. And then we can bring the the dairy up to meet it, and then we can switch over the cargo. That is my thanking. Or they'll probably power to weight and stability. The other cargo ooh, might be better on on the other trailer. I, again, for the life of me, I can't remember if cargo container is two, three, or four slots. I think it's two. Sure is. We stick them on the back of a normal flatbed, don't we? So it's two. It's that toss-up of manoeuvrability or, or power, isn't it? Should we take the dairy through and do the heavy load with the dairy? Just so we've got a little bit more of a change, maybe. Mix it up. just that if I can't get both on the back of that other trailer then it just doesn't work out does it that's what your man's worried about As I know, it's definitely going to fit on here. And that trailer's pretty heavy anyway, isn't it? Let's be honest. That trailer's pretty... Oh, man, I am not treating the Longhorn very well. Say the turn and circle of a jumbo jet on this thing. For me, I think that's its biggest downside. Not that it's got that big heavy engine and it's not the most powerful engine. I think the turn and circle is the dairy's uh, big downfall. I can cope with maybe going slow. It's it's not being able to get round corners. <laughs> that's a problem in a in a driving game.
Let's see if we can pull up alongside. In my super maneuver the truck. And if I had a fleet, like I was saying earlier on with um, the Ranger trucks, if I had a fleet of trucks where maybe only one of them had a crane, or where we still had to use one of the, the, the standard trucks to uh, to crane stuff, this is where you'd have to do a lot of this. Which probably isn't all that fuel efficient, is it? Constantly parking up and moving your loads. I don't know. Depends on what trucks are capable of doing things elsewhere, doesn't it? Really? you going? Whee. Actually, should I just go through and deliver these? I think I will. So we are taking our slabs to the factory. So yeah. That makes sense. Because what's the time? Got a little bit of time left.
job, just turn the engine off. So while I'm here, there's nothing below this. It's, it's about to give me another job. Um, large pipes on there, concrete blocks. It's three large pipes anyway. And concrete blocks are there as well. Wondering whether to just sort of get myself in place ready along that road for the next job while we're here. Three pot, three pipes, four blocks. So I'll be able to put two pipes on there. I can put the other pipe and the four blocks on the three large. No, three large pipes take up quite a lot, don't they? I think they're over like three or four slots. Can I go back and uh, we'll 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 finish up what we're already doing. Let's go back. Sorry, mess you all about. Where is easy to do it from here to the royal? So let's just see how far we can get. We probably wasted a little bit too much time there, just hesitating and thinking. Not want to make it to the port, but we can get through and as far as we can, I guess. So it's showing back through. Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong job now. Did myself dirty. I say like showing back through in the bedroom, but there was definitely nothing we could pick up in the bedroom for this job. We checked. tipple and then back and through, through we go again I'll tell you what I've got a lot of load screens to cut out today <laughs> around as quick as we can. Maybe we will make it. Maybe we will get a, a load on first. Ready to just run at the start of the next episode. And when we take it, we can go through the tunnel. Because we've opened it now, finally quite literally just for this delivery <laughs> and to be able to pull our fuel through a little bit more efficient although we've got fuel sort of in a few different spots
It's been a while since we've been in the pool, hasn't it? Feels so long ago for myself. <laughs> oh there, snakey snakey. That one's an empty trailer, isn't it? Yep. How much has that one got in it? Half? Do we still have another trailer on this map? Somewhere? Cannot remember. Did we bring them all in? No, that was it, wasn't it? And then the two that are elsewhere. Oh no, we've got one here. As we've got a small one there. Oh, now we've got this one here. This full of fuel. Got so much fuel in Alaska. How did we run out of fuel so quickly in Michigan? I have so much fuel in Alaska. Crazy. At least we've got a little to pull through for future maps if need be. get the calculator out when we come to that stage to make sure it is worthwhile you know paying for pulling the truck through with the fuel over paying for fuel because I think it's three grand to pull a truck through or at least a sizable truck anyway I'm not sure if uh, there's a different price for like scouts, off-roads, heavies, heavy duties, like there is for recoveries, I'm not sure if it costs a different amount for pulling them through to a different map. When Wessel does that, I never pay much attention to how much he's, he's paying. Perhaps I should. before we get going. Oh, let's try and get these on. A well, large pipe is full. No, we'll container two. 
so I could even hmm run my large pipes from here because it's easier to get them from here than it is that little warehouse I might do that um, anywho let's try and get these on On the dot, look at that, lovely. So that is it, seven o'clock. That's the first time we've ever finished on the dot. That is it, seven o'clock, another day done. Excuse me while I put my controller down. Uh, yeah, um, getting the jobs done. The I, I'd forgotten how big the, uh, the the order was. I forgot there was a third section, um, but we'll get these delivered and that'll be done. And then we'll make a decision on whether we're running pipes out of here or out of um, White Valley. Here would be easier. It's just maybe how many runs we'll be able to do. We'll probably be able to put two on a trailer. Is that is that wise? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.